so today I'm here to talk to you about my March favorites and I have a lot of them so I am going to jump in here pretty quickly uh, March was a really good month uh, for me and a lot of really great products that I have fallen in love with so let me get started here so one of the first products I want to talk about is my foundation that I've been using every single day pretty much of March and that is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and I find that a little goes a long way like I think this is going to last me at least four or five months at least and the reason why is it's so concentrated and the color is perfect there's so many different shades my only complaint about this item is the packaging and it has this awesome little dauber that you can use to dot your face but the only thing with that is it gets a little bit messy and as long as you're okay with having it be a little bit messy and having to occasionally wipe it off, then it's a great foundation. I'm judging it based on just the quality of the product and not the packaging. But I highly recommend this foundation. It gives a really full coverage, stays on all day, and it's not super heavy. It's very lightweight for being a full foundation. So highly recommend the Remarkable. I have it in color number 26. Bisque. So the next product I want to jump into is another foundation that I gave a try. Gave a try. I had a sample of it from Sephora, and it's the Josie Marin Vibrancy, and I have it in the color Dynamic. And I got this as a free little add-on sample. And one thing that really amazes me about this is it has argan oil in it, so it's good for your skin and it moisturizes your skin. But it's also super full coverage, and again, without being super cakey and thick. So. Overall, I recommend this. I'm still trying it. I, I love the size of these mini ones. I'm just going to throw this in my purse, and this is going to be my foundation on the go. Um, but the color is also great. I know there's a lot of different shades in this, too. And the packaging's really cute, very neon and bright. The next product I'll talk about, I'll stick with the face, is the primer that I have been using for the last couple of months. And I use it every day, and I've only used that much. And this is kind of a pricey foundation. I actually, or uh, primer, not a foundation, this is a primer. I actually bought this because of a recommendation from Tati, who, if you don't know who she is, is an awesome um, makeup YouTuber. Check her out. She's got millions of viewers. And she recommended this. She said it made her skin feel very moist and plump, and it helped to kind of get rid of redness and just make your face just exactly how you want it to be. And it's really cool. It actually has little gold flecks in it. And this is probably one of the nicest things that I own in life. Um, I might not repurchase it just because it was so expensive. But I think it's absolutely amazing. I actually um, uh, want my... Uh, I think uh, my mom would absolutely love this. I might, I might let you try it, Mom. Um, but this is a really great primer. Uh, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on primer, I also think that... A couple other really good ones that I've been using are the Veil Primer by Hourglass, and I just buy it in the mini tube because it's actually the same cost as buying the largest one. And then, um, let's see, I thought I had another primer I was going to talk about, but maybe that was last month. Maybe I'm just getting things confused. But um, that's a good primer. Another product I want to talk about is my foundation brush that I've been using. I've kind of, I've tried a lot of different brushes. The three main face brushes that I've tried are the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. And then I've also tried the Tapered Kabuki from Sigma. And I also have tried the M439 from Morphe, which they're all kind of similar, just slightly differently shaped. But my favorite one is the one I'm talking about today, which is the Marc Jacobs, um, the face number three, I believe it's called. It's the newest one. And this helps me to put my foundation on in less than like 45 seconds and it's blended and it just sits well and it's easy to clean it cleans out perfectly and it doesn't really eat up your product which is good because you don't want it to waste your expensive makeup and um, but yeah it's the face number three and it's just super beautiful and it's just a really great brush it really helps to get your makeup on really fast and really great so another product I want to talk about is the Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaning Spray from Sephora Collection. And this is actually a brand new item. And so unlike the Sephora brush sprays that you can buy that are like super liquidy, this one comes in an aerosol can. And you just spray it on your brush, 
directly on your brush, then you wipe it off and then you're ready to go and you can use that brush again. Um, I find that this cleans it really well and it has the best smell. Let's see what brush needs to be clean. So you'll just spray it, preferably away from you, and I just kind of rotate the brush, then I'll grab it. And you literally just wipe it off and it all comes off. I can't explain the smell, but it smells really, really good. It smells like fruity candy. I can't think of what it smells like, but it's really good. Like one of my favorite like scents on like a product that I've ever had. Even I like it better than the chocolate soleil milk chocolate scent. That's saying a lot. So I still have a lot of products to get through. The next product I want to talk about is um, a mascara. So a lot of you have probably heard of the Too Faced um, Better Than Mascara. And it came out in waterproof. And this is kind of what it looks like. It has little droplets all over it. It's really pretty. And it still has that same really large wand. And I fell in love with the original pink one. Um, I haven't used it recently. I've been trying to kind of switch and use different mascaras, but now that I'm back to this, I think I'll stay with it because it gives your lashes. I used two coats today. S super thick. Stays on all day. I literally applied this mascara um, at about 8 a.m. this morning, and it's still super thick. I don't have naturally thick lashes by any means either, and it's still on, still curled up. Highly recommend. The only thing with this mascara is it is a pain to take off. I have tried everything and it does eventually come off but you have to like scrub and it kind of hurts your lashes a little bit so I'm trying to find um, an alternative to take it off. Things that I have tried, I've tried Makeup Forever Sensi Eyes, I've tried um, Paracone Blue Plasma, I've tried Lancome's, um, I forgot the name but they're blue one and those are like some of the best products on the market for removing mascara and even with those it still takes a little while but it's a great mascara I can't recommend it enough like I'm in love so the next product I want to talk about is for brows and so it's actually I have two different products that I use together and so the first one that I use is the tattoo brow by Kat Von D and what I do with this is I take it and it's like this little pointy flex tip and I use it and I shape the top of my brow and I shape the bottom of my brow and then I go in with powder. I literally just use this for shaping it and kind of giving it a little bit more definition. And I feel like my brows look really natural and it just helps to kind of achieve that look. It comes in three shades, so not a ton of like flexibility. I'm in medium brown. There's a medium brown then like a light brown and then a blonde. So there's not like one for dark hair colors. but. I think this is really great. It's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And then to fill in my brows, I have been using the brand Salon Perfect. And I'm using it in the Shape Up Brow Powder in Universal Brown. I bought this at Walmart. And I bought this, it came with this, a brush, some brow stencils, and something else. And it was like $4. And so what it is, is you get a dark color and a white color. And I think this works just as great as my... Um, What's it called? I have the Browsing by Benefit. And it's not quite as smooth of a powder. It's a little bit chalkier, but the pigmentation is there. And it, I use this today and it just fills in perfectly and you can't you can't even tell. And for the price, um, again, that's the Salon Perfect, but in Universal Brown. Okay, so we're almost there. So another product I want to talk about that I bought from Walmart is actually... Um, it's called Cracks Away One Minute Petty Exfoliator. And so this smells, again, really good. I've been all about the really good smelling products this month. It smells really good. You get like, it's kind of liquidy, like sugary. And how you use it is you want your feet to be wet. So maybe use it after a shower, um, if you're taking a bath. So after your feet are a little bit um, just kind of wet and um, what's like slightly prudy, I guess is the word. You want to rub this all over your feet and then just kind of let it sit for a minute and then scrub it a little bit more. Then you wash it off and your feet are nice and smooth. And this is one of the easiest foot like exfoliating products that I've seen. Some require you to like put little booties on your foot and walk around for four hours and some require like 30 minutes. This one's like one minute and 
it smells good and it works it's not super exfoliating like it's not going to move all the dead skin but just enough that you do feel smoother so give that a try I think this was like three or four dollars and yeah it's kind of funny looking it's got like a kind of pop art um, woman on there so a couple more products that I want to talk about so one thing that I use for my um, eyelashes to help them get them nice and long and not clumpy is a, a lash wand and so I don't know if you've seen it like this before I'll get really close it's, it's a little dirty and so what I do this for is before I put my mascara on I comb my lashes to make sure there's no gunk and that they're not sticking to each other. So I comb it before mascara, then I'll comb it after mascara to kind of get some of the chunks out. Same with my bottom, I'll just kind of comb it. And so when you do your top after mascara, you want to like get a little, um, I like to use those little um, like free sample thingies that you get from Sephora. And sometimes I'll just use that and like scrape it up. That works. Um, but I highly recommend this. They're like $10, I think. And it really helps you to separate your lashes and to just be clump-free, which don't we all want to be. Almost there. So another uh, favorite skincare product for the month is Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. So I had really bad breakouts this month. Like, I started, like, halfway through the month, I had, like, five over here and three over here and I, I don't know why I just started breaking out randomly and I started using this I was recommended this by Clinique and so what you do is you just take a tiny bit dab it on it and you can put it on a couple times a day and you don't want to put it on open wounds because it stings really badly and you just put this on and you'll notice slowly but surely like sometimes even within six hours to eight hours you'll notice it's like start to go down a little bit and I put this on one night before I went to bed and I woke up and like couple um just little bumps were completely gone and you couldn't even tell that there had been something there before it and I just think that this is just absolutely amazing and so again this is Clinique's Acne Solution Clearing Gel and you can buy it in I believe it comes in 0.5 ounces and one full fluid ounce so the next product I want to talk about is something that I have just been crazy about and loving this month I got my first Z palette in the month of March and I feel like there's no turning back. So here's what my Z palette looks like now and you can see your reflection in there. And so what I have in my Z palette is all Anastasia Beauty products, surely enough. And so I have all of my eyeshadows over here which I think are beautiful. And then over here I have my highlighter from my Anastasia Glow Kit. And this is my favorite one right now and I kind of swap them in and out because they are all magnetic. And this is Hard Candy. It just pops right in there. Then I also have banana, and then I have vanilla. And then I have, I believe this is fawn. And so these are kind of my contours and highlighters and my eyeshadows. And this is like everything that I need ever. And I love it. Like I love this so much. I can't even express how much I love it. So I'm gonna try and wrap this up pretty quickly. I might have to cut out a product. So the next thing that I've been loving this month is I bought this at JCPenney's. I don't think this is available at Sephora's. It's called Chicathon, and it's by Benefit. And so you actually get five products in here, full-size Benefit products. And I don't know if you know a lot about like what they cost, but usually a Benefit blush or bronzer in like their little boxes run about $29. So this was, I believe it was like $56, which is a lot. But you get five full-size products. And this is going to last me like years because you get so much. So you get the blush Dallas, Dandelion, Coralista. Then you get kind of a blushy highlighter Rockateur and then a bronzer in Hula. And Hula is a really popular um, bronzer. And I have been loving using Dandelion as my blush. I've been going for kind of a light subtle blush this month and I've been loving that. And this is just such a great deal if you love Benefit blushes and bronzers. Check this out. It's at JCPenney Sephora's only. So then, two more products. So my favorite lip product that I've been using this month is Fresh's Sugar Lip Polish. And I've been wearing a lot more lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. And this really helps to kind of make your lips easy to absorb those products and not like goopy and icky. I do this a couple times a week, maybe once every two or three days. And it's just like this really great little 
scrub. It's sugar scrub, so if you accidentally eat it, you're okay. You're, you're gonna live. And I just think this is so great. Um, it just gently exfoliates and it slightly conditions your lips. And it just makes lipsticks and uh, liquid lipsticks and just all products going well. It just makes your lips look better too and healthier and not like crackly. So then my last product I am going to talk about this month is um, actually a rollerball perfume. And I got this at Victoria's Secret. I went shopping with my friend and she wanted to go there to get a swimsuit. So I picked this up. This was my big purchase there. And I got the Love Addict Rollerball. All the rollerballs were on sale. And I was just random. Or I guess this is a spray. It looks like a rollerball, but it's a spray. And I remember that's so it's awesome. And the scent's really hard to describe scents online. But it's just very, like, happy and fun and, like, slightly florally and slightly, like, fruity. It just smells really good, and I put this in my purse, and I'll spray a little bit on when I'm at work, because unfortunately my boyfriend is, like, very sensitive to perfumes. So even if I'm, he's, like, down the hall and I spray a perfume, like, he can't even hear it, I'll spray it. And then all of a sudden I'll hear him start to sneeze, and I'm like, wow, I can't wear these around you. But, so I sneak it at work. I don't sneak it at work, I just wear it at work. Um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite products in March. I think March was a good month for beauty. I'm excited to see what happens with all these new launches and new products coming out. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions or comments or you like the video, um, feel free to leave a comment or like the video. Let me know if there's anything that you think um, you want me to talk about or try or just anything. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.